Second Lieutenant Brittany Jones. Day is finally coming. Second most important day of your life, right? Or is this one more important than your wedding? Just <laughs> For those of you who don't know Brittany, I'd like to take this time to talk a little bit about her. She comes from a military family. Her father retired Air Force. But before coming to Texas for college, she spent her time in Washington State. She joined Junior ROTC as soon as she got into high school. And now she's commissioning as a second lieutenant. In your eight years preparing for this moment to step into the Air Force, you have learned a lot. You will face many challenges as an officer, but I would like to highlight two of your strongest characteristics that will make you a great officer. Your first is perseverance. Few put so much effort and passion into what they do. If you look around this room, I want you to not only focus on those who are here, both family and friends who have supported you, but those who aren't. If you think about all those that either quit or were sent away, you represent less than 10% of those individuals who couldn't make it. You refuse to let the Air Force tell you no and you kept trying to meet your goals. You made it through field training, probably your most challenging 28 days. You even made it despite being attacked by me. <laughs> that perseverance, <laughs> that's Brittany Jones. The next characteristic I'd like to highlight is one of your strongest traits. It's your ability to prepare. I have consistently been amazed by your effort and thought that you put into your work. Whenever you have taken on a new challenge, you not only plan out what will take place, but you also analyze what can go wrong and how to fix it before it even happens. That was one of the reasons why I wanted you to be a wing commander. This ability to prepare will pay many dividends when your tasks become more complex and the outcomes more critical. Lieutenant Jones, you have not only completed all the requirements for commissioning, you have excelled. I know you will take the same excellence with you when you start your Air Force career. Remember what makes you great, your perseverance and your preparation. Earn the respect of your troops by setting the example. You have all the tools. Now it's time to have fun and start this journey. Lieutenant Jones will be stationed at Little Rock Air Force Base in Jackson, Arkansas, Jacksonville, Arkansas, and will be a force support officer. Lieutenant Jones would like to recognize her grandparents, Larry and Carol, parents, Gordon and Sheila, husband, Aaron, and the Joneses for always pushing her to strive for something better.
Ladies and gentlemen, Lieutenant Jones. Rendering Lieutenant Jones's first salute will be Technical Sergeant Gordon Smith, United States Air Force, retired. So a good person that always competes, very hard to find. 
I also want to mention another thing. She's a mathematician. That's going to be her degree. Or not going to be. That is her degree. Uh, she gave me a bank tip last week. So uh, the interest rate on my savings account went up seven and a half times a percent. So, or seven and a half times. So that's a, that's a pretty big deal for me. I had a little bit of money sitting around. So, you know, maybe I'll get to go to Chili's or some other place to act like that and have a meal based off that interest. <laughs> Like I mentioned, her ability to compete is rare. She's tenacious with her effort. She's going to serve the Air Force well. The Air Force is going to be stronger in a few minutes when we commission Cadet Marshall. And I and the cadre are so proud of her. Are you ready? Where's your right hand or repeat after me? I, state your name. I, Kimberly Rose Marshall. Having been appointed a second lieutenant in the United States Air Force. Having been appointed a second lieutenant in the United States Air Force. Do you solemnly swear? Do you solemnly swear? That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. And that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And I take this obligation freely. And that I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. Without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. And that I will well and faithfully discharge. And that I will well and faithfully discharge. The duties of the office. The duties of the office. Upon which I'm about to enter. Upon which I'm about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. Depending on the rank for Lieutenant Marshall will be her mother, Patricia Crane, and stepfather, Royce Crane. Lieutenant Marshall will be stationed at Keesler Air Force Base in Biloxi, Mississippi, and will be a cyberspace operations officer. Lieutenant Marshall would like to thank Josh for sparking her interest in the military, Richard for introducing her to Civil Air Patrol, Brian for encouraging her throughout her ROTC career, Stephanie for teaching her to stand her ground, and Robert for being her unfailing surrogate husband. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Lieutenant Marshall. <laughs> Rendering Lieutenant Marshall's first salutes will be her brothers, Staff Sergeant Richard Marshall, United States Air Force, and Sergeant Brian Crane, Army. United States Army. Thank um, just 
everybody who came out today, especially uh, the ones who came from out of state, my grandparents. Uh, and all of that. Thank you. Our next commissionee will be Cadet Brandon Mitchell. <laughs> Mr. and Young Cadet Mitchell will be Second Lieutenant Adam, Good Adam Gonzalez. No, it's his Brandon Mitchell is not just a friend to me, he's also a brother. Growing up with you since we were 15, and the friendship we've built has been a privilege that most will never know. And now we both get to serve in the officer corps together. Look at how far we've come from the ignorant days when we were 15, when we thought we knew it all and have the whole world figured out. Look at us now. We're stamped leaders, officers together. The Air Force has no idea what an honor it is to have you serving them. You are the toughest and most determined individual I know, stubborn like me. <laughs> you will gain the respect of your soldiers in time. They will learn the leader I know, and they will be willing to follow you to hell and back just as I would, and you would for me. Strength and courage, my friend, no longer for yourself, but for your soldiers. They are calling you, they are looking up to you, and they are waiting for your guidance. You cannot afford to let them down. Brandon, I am proud of the man standing before me now. So follow me, brother, into this next chapter of our lives. I, Brandon Tito K. Lee Mitchell, have been appointed a second lieutenant in the United States Air Force. Having been appointed a second lieutenant in the United States Air Force, do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear that I will support and defend. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States against all enemies. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And allegiance to the same. That I will take this obligation freely. That I will take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation. Without any mental reservation. For purpose of evasion. For purpose of evasion. And that I will well and faithfully. That I will well and faithfully. Discharge the duties. Discharge the duties. The office upon which I'm about to enter. Upon the office which I'm about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. Depending on the right for Lieutenant Mitchell will be his mother, Tracy Cunniff, sisters Haley and Brooke Cunniff, and his fiance, Sachin. <laughs> Lieutenant Mitchell will be stationed at Pensacola Naval Air Station, Florida, for undergraduate <laughs> combat systems officer training. Lieutenant Mitchell would like to thank his family, friends, and fiance for their endless support. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Lieutenant Mitchell. Rendering Lieutenant Mitchell's first salute will be Private First Class Jesus Surreal. Yes, it's over.
<laughs> I've been telling my little brother that he better get his shoulder ready because uh, he was supposed to be my first salute, and I was telling him he's going to have to hold his arm up for about an hour and a half, so just get his shoulder ready. <laughs> he couldn't make it because he's stationed in Alaska, but thank you for coming out, Jesus. I'd like to thank Mom, Brooke, Haley, Miss Mitchum, Mr. Mitchum. Thank you for all the support you've given me throughout the years. Sachi, thank you for kicking my butt, putting me back in school. You led me down the right path. And Adam and Jesus, thank you for introducing me to the program and really helping me out. I'd like to thank everyone who came out, and I'd also like to thank all the cadets that worked hard to put this together. Thank you. Our next commissioning will be Cadet Colby Thomas. Administering the oath to Cadet Thomas will be myself, Captain Cordell. Would you please come forward for a commission? Second Lieutenant Colby Thomas. Sounds pretty good, right? Most of you know Colby as a resident ginger. <laughs> but what you don't know is that of his four other siblings, he's also the only ginger. <laughs> Colby grew up in Lake Dallas and is a true Texas native. In fact, when Colby moves to Wright-Patterson, Ohio for his first assignment, it will be the first time he'll be living outside the state of Texas. Colby started ROTC to put some structure into his life. Before ROTC, he wasn't making good grades and a lack of direction. But he poured his heart into ROTC and in turn started getting really good grades and finally had a direction to go in. In my three years teaching here at University of North Texas, Colby is the only engineer to commission. So as a fellow engineer, I feel a special bond. And I will commemorate this bond with an engineering joke. A man was crossing a road one day when a frog called out to him and said, If you kiss me, I'll turn, you into, I'll turn into a beautiful princess. He bent over, picked up the frog, and put it into his pocket. The frog spoke again and said, If you kiss me, turn me back into a beautiful princess, and I'll stay with you for a week. The man took the frog out of his pocket, smiled, and returned it back to his pocket. The frog then cried out, If you kiss me and turn me into a princess, I will marry you, and you can become my prince. Again, the man took out the frog, smiled at it, put it back into his pocket. Finally, the frog said, What does it matter? I've told you I'm a beautiful princess. I will let you marry me. I've offered everything I can offer. Why won't you kiss me? The man said, Look, I'm an engineer. I don't have time for a girlfriend, but a talking frog, that's cool. <laughs> Colby, you are one of the most mature and capable people I have met. You have a calmness about you that just can never get rattled. But that calmness is also matched with this impressive ability to problem solve and get things done. That is a unique skill set you have. You're entering a world where Americans are number one. We have been number one for a long time. Think about that for a second. You are entering the Air Force engineering community the greatest Air Force in the world, with the best technology built by the best people. I hope when you arrive at Wright-Patterson, your boss will see your unique skills and start putting you to work. But I know they will. And your Air Force adventure is gonna start with some amazing stuff. You'll be working on technology that won't be on aircraft for 10, 20, or even 30 years. Often we talk about being on the tip of the spear, meaning the closest to the fight. Well, you're going to be working on the sphere that we're going to use in a couple of years. Colby, your accomplishments speak volumes about your character. I wish you nothing but the best of luck in your Air Force endeavors. And yes, you now have a path. Hi, Colby James Thomas. 
having been appointed the second lieutenant in the United States Air Force, he solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against, against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that I will take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. That I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office upon which I am about to enter. So help me God. Sitting on the right for Lieutenant Thomas will be his mother, Diana Pace, and Father Michael Thomas. <coughs> Lieutenant Thomas will be stationed at Wright Patterson Air Force Base in Dayton, Ohio, and will be a research and development engineer. Lieutenant Thomas would like to recognize his parents, grandparents, for always supporting him throughout his endeavors, and his friends for always making his life less serious. Staff Sergeant Cutco Davis. Going to give. So 
Enough of the formalities. You ready for this? Come on, raise your right hand and repeat after me. I state your name. Hi, Elizabeth Amy Vaughn. Have you been appointed a second lieutenant in the United States Air Force? I've been appointed a second lieutenant in the United States Air Force. Do solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Do solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I take this obligation freely, without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. I take this obligation for thee without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. And that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office upon which I am about to enter. And that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office upon which I am about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. Depending on the rank for Lieutenant Vaughn will be her mother and father, Joan and Peter Vaughn, and her brother, Jason Vaughn. Lieutenant Vaughn will be stationed at Seymour Johnson Air Force Base in Goldsboro, North Carolina, and will be a force support officer. <coughs> Lieutenant Vaughn would like to thank the cadre and Miss Shelley for their generous counseling, time, and effort. She'd also like to recognize her older brother, oldest brother, Peter, who is currently in South Africa doing mission work. Ladies and gentlemen, Lieutenant Vaughn.